Hi, Deb here and welcome to my craft room. Um, before we open this box, which came just before Christmas, I'd like to explain why I haven't had, why the videos have been a bit slow recently. Um, at the end of November, I lost someone who was very, very dear to me. Um, which was difficult. And then mid-December, I lost my dad. So um, it's not been a particularly easy time for me the last couple of months, but I'm starting to feel a little better. Um, hopefully we should be having more videos again. I'm, I am sorry. Um, but anyway, let's put that behind us. Thank you for joining me and let's open the latest pixie box. I know I've got a new one expecting to be delivered any day, but this is the one that came in December. So let's go. I do love the pixie boxes. They're so oh, nice, aren't they? All right, let's just put that there like that. All right, let's bring it down a bit so you can see it properly. Here's the card. Oh, Love in the air. Put that to one side for now. Open the paper. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a sweet little mould. It's, um, it's like a little envelope with wings on. That's cute. <laughs> These are kisses, lipstick kisses. They're cute as well. Now that is a very nice mould, nice love mould. I do like that one. Oh, these look like little picture frames with a heart in the middle. So you could put a, a picture of someone you love in the middle. They're very, very sweet. Some dried flowers. Mostly oranges, oranges with a bit of blue, oranges, yellows, they're, they're pretty. Nice glitters, sorry about the noise, whoops, glitters, that's a nice blue, very nice, and a nice pink, that's lovely as well. And then we have the, the glittery hearts. They're pretty. And then we have another sort of heart shaped mould where the two hearts are connected. Some Mirandi pigment and that says it's maroon, but that is not maroon. That is definitely says maroon. It's more a beigey colour. More of a beigey colour. And then we have some alcohol inks. We have magenta and violet alcohol inks. This is pretty. Let's get it out of here as quickly as possible. There we are. That is like a, an iridescent Really pretty snowflake iridescent glitter. Oh, this is nice as well. This looks like crushed. This looks like crushed shell or crushed stone or something. That is nice. Little tiny stony bits. Very pretty. Multicoloured. Um, oh, some little gold dot inclusions they're nice they're all the same color but different sizes oh, two gold hearts they are lovely heart bezels aren't they pretty and these are oh pinks these are pinks there's hearts oh, small or oh, medium and large hearts and then there's flowers Different sized flowers, butterflies. They're very pretty. These are okay. 
not I mean they're all different hearts um, they're okay I suppose you could use them as inclusions in shakers yep they're okay and then I suppose this is the this is gorgeous this is a great big heart and that's the vase you put down in the middle very very pretty I do like that yeah very nice right I will think about what I'm going to put I'm going to make this one not sure what colours to do it or what to put in it to be honest I'll think about that and that one I'm going to make as well I'll think about that and um I'll see you when I've decided take care bye hello right I've decided what I'm gonna do out of this um this love in the air box we're gonna do the heart vase and we're also gonna do the love um little figurine thing little figure oh, there's a hair on that it's no good is it um so yeah I'll put those to one side for now I got these from Sherry Moulton, um, love her YouTube channel, watch it ever such a lot. So she sent me these, I, I was lucky enough to win them last year. Um, Happy New Year by the way, It um, it's the 1st of January today, so this is my first video of the new year, so Happy New Year to you all. Um, yes, I received this from Sherry back last year and I haven't actually used it yet. So as you can see, it's broken glass, mirror glass. Um, we're going to use that in the front of the two moulds and at the bottom here. So I just want to do a thin layer of glass around there. And in the bottom here, I want to do a little bit of these stones. So I'm going to do this first. There's a bit of a groove going to do that first and then when that's set a little bit I'm going to come back and put some of those in there um, and then I'm not quite sure what colours I'm going to do on the back but I'm sure I'll think of something. Right so I've mixed up 40 grams of actually it's J Diction resin I have I use J Diction UV resin a lot and I absolutely love it but I haven't used the J Diction normal resin before. So I'm giving that a go. Epoxy, J Diction epoxy resin. So I'm giving that a go today. Right, as you can see, I've put a lot of air bubbles into that. Um, I will let it settle before I use it. I'm going to add this alcohol ink. Um, it's rainbow. Um, rainbow rainbow alcohol ink it's so pretty i'm going to put that in there first quite a bit because i love it there you go i know you don't need a lot but it's so pretty can you see that it, it gives it a glimmer look at that glittery crystal glimmer beautiful so that's that in there it's starting to get a little warm already and then I'm going to put a little of this glass in here, this crushed glass, crushed mirror glass into the cup. I'm not sure how much to use. I've never used it before. Let's see how that looks, shall we? Oh, there's a stick in there. That's not good, is it? Let's get that out. That in there, right? So let's give that a mix. Hmm. I think that is probably enough, but I like it already. That is beautiful. That is going to look lovely. I'm not sure whether to mix a little bit of this stone with it as well. Do you know what? I'm going to mix some of this crushed stone with it as well. Let me just get a spoon. use my lovely glitter spoon for this I'm gonna open it over there so I don't waste anything um, let's put some of this in that is beautiful just one spoonful and see if it does anything put that down there and give it a stir That's 
a crunchy noise, isn't it? Right. Let's get these out now. I have levelled my um, board, as you can see from the sticks, lollipop sticks. I have levelled my board. Right, first of all, I want to go round the outside of this because... I don't want that too deep. Oh, and I've already done it wrong. Oh dear, it's not great. It's not a very easy mould, to be honest. Now I come to try it. Don't know why I thought I'd try something difficult in a nice, difficult shaped mould like this. Never mind, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I just want to get that, if you can see, in there. I don't want any of the glass. No, none of the glass in there because I want to put something different in there. But let's push all of this glass down. Hopefully that will go like that. You need to all come out of there, that's it. Now let's do this one. It shouldn't be so bad, should it? Doesn't matter how much is in this one. I think I've probably mixed too much glass in with my glitter, but never mind. I can push this around, can't I? Oh, yeah, let's push this around. Put that there for a minute. Push this around. There's not going to be a lot of anything left. A lot of room left to put anything in here, is there? But it doesn't matter. Let's push it around. I just thought this is possibly scratching my mould. Oh dear. <laughs> saying old dear like that just reminded my, me of my eldest grandson he um he loves it when you say oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear so if mummy's listening to this and you can hear it earlier this is for you oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear <laughs> she's the only one in the family that watches me my daughter-in-law because um my children say it's embarrassing but i think my daughter-in-law watches them sometimes when she has a spare minute there's a hair in there that needs to come out right so think that is probably all I can do for now hoping that it will settle need to get the glass off there that's it right let's wash wipe that off yeah, wipe that off be wasting it. I'd rather put it in than waste it. Mm -hmm. Right. I will see you when this is cured enough for me to add, sorry if my head keeps getting in the way, when this is cured enough for me to add a second coat. See you soon. Bye. Right, it's the next day now. These have set. I've mixed up 50 grams of um, J Diction resin. 
and I'm going to put in these um, coloured stones or rocks or whatever they are, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to put those in there because I, I want them to go in the love bit. Um, I think I'm going to put the whole lot in because why not? Just want to scrape them away from the edges if I possibly can. And there's a few in there I'd like it. Right. Mix it up, give it a stir in. Let's just get them all off the stick. Right, and I want to pour them all in this one. I'm going to start here and let it work its way around. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. That's my washing machine. It sounds as if it's going to take off, doesn't it? Very loud. stones out of here as we can. And let's push some up around here. So we want them all around the back, don't we? I know the le resin will level out, I just wanted to make sure the stones were all mixed around. I think that would be absolutely fine. Right, the bubbles should all rise. I actually find, <coughs> sorry, I find this J Diction resin very good, um, bubble wise. I mean, I don't know, I've never mixed it in with something, but they did seem to come out, um, obviously we won't know for definite until we demould them, but I think it's quite good, this Jay Diction stuff, I think it is. Right, I'm now going to let this cure and I'll be back to put the last coat on both of them. See you soon. Right, hello. These are fixed. It's the next day. Sorry, fixed? What am I talking about? These are set. It's the next day when I've mixed up 110 grams of J Diction epoxy resin. Um, that's all mixed up and I'm going to add to it the Sophie and Toffee Mirandi pigment, what they call maroon. Um, uh, it's a bit beigey, but I'm going to mix some of that in. Oh, I haven't cut the top off. Let's find my scissors. Snip the top. Just put in two, three, that's three drops for now and see what it looks like. Mm. Not great, I'll drop in three more. So that's six all together. Still not all together sure, but I think I'm going to go for that. I don't want it too opaque. 
Right, I'm also going to drop in some of this um, rainbow alcohol ink because I think that looks really nice. I'm hoping that that will give this a bit of a ping. And it doesn't seem to be coming out. So let's give it another shake. I might have to find a pit pin for the lid. Mm. Why is it not coming out? Oh, it is. I'm just not squeezing it enough. Sorry if you can't see that, but there's loads of drops going in there. Lots and lots of drops in there. And I've got it all over my gloves, so I don't mind that. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's going to show, but it's worth a try, isn't it? It gives it a bit of a glittery. I wonder if I might put a tiny bit of glitter in it. Um, what am I talking about, a tiny bit? <laughs> we'll put some of this in, just to glitterify it a bit. That's my, um, the glitter, extra fine crystal diamond that I use a lot. Hopefully that will sparkle it up a bit. Well, it looks quite good there. Right. Let's pour this in the back and see how we go. We'll put it, no, we better put it all in here to start with, haven't we? Then I have to mix some more for the love, I think. Yeah, definitely need more for the love. Aim to do the love the same colour as the the heart, um, so I don't think you really need to see me doing that, do you? I will get my torch. I'll just go over the top. be back when they're ready to demold. See you soon. Alright, so these have cured now, so let's take them out and see what we think. That's overflowed a little bit, but I'm sure we can cut that off. They're a bit hard to get out of there where the if we can peel these out. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I really like that. Isn't that nice? I really like that. I'm going to have to give it a really good tidy up. Trim all the bits off it. But I'm actually really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. All right, let's have a look at the heart now. Oh. oh. Up a bit. Let's get 
this out now. That <laughs> seems to be able to get it out. Oh, this doesn't want to come out. And that is really sharp. Well, no, it is not. That is really nice. I really like that. Where you can see the coloured beads at the back of the glass. That's really, really pretty. Um, let's just check that the tube fits. Just check that the tube fits. Yeah, that is really nice. Right, I'm going to tidy the edges up on both of these. Tidy the edges up and then I'll give them a picture. I'll, I'll take a picture of them on the table all finished up. Um, I'm really pleased with those. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, Happy New Year. I look forward to um, seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.